everybody welcome back to my channel <coughs> i hate this camera but i need my other phone to demonstrate some things to you guys so today we're going to be talking about the um okay i'm sorry for the interruption today we're going to be talking about my top three editing apps now this is going to be my top three editing apps for my pictures um and things like this this is not my top three editing apps for <coughs> Tokyo, cut it out. This is not my top three editing apps for my videos. This is only for like pictures and like little short clips that you might want to do, uh, put up for your stories, your Instagram stories, your Facebook stories, your Snapchat and things like that. So I'm going to be looking down, but know that you guys have my attention. So we're going to get started with going to my photos. Hold on. I'm going to turn on my screen recorder so you guys can see. Well, not just yet. Let me get to it. Well, yeah, I'll turn it on. Let's see. Screen recorder. Okay. No sound. Start recording. Okay. As you guys, as you guys can see, I have numerous of photo apps on my phone. Photo editing apps on my phone. But I only really, my go-to, which I'll probably go through my phone this week and really kind of clean it out because I don't use all of these, but I will show you my go-to. So the first one that is a major go-to that I cannot live without is Kavana. As you can see, Kavana is the perfect app. Now, they have a free version that does not cost you a thing, and they have another version that is $13.99 a month or $12.99 a month. And, or you can get it quarterly or yearly, annually. So I got got it for $13.99 a month. And it's just so many templ templates that you have on there. For, in, for instance, your animated social media. If you do a lot of business promotion, this is good. Your Instagram post, Instagram story, your Facebook post. I've created Facebook covers for this social media, your photo collage. I create all my thumbnails using Kavana as well when I don't when I'm not being lazy uh flyers I've print I've used their I've used their um templates to make planner inserts um Twitter posts Twitter head blog banners YouTube thumbnail YouTube channel art I've done I've actually used this to do my YouTube channel art so just in case you're trying to figure out how to create your channel art I've used this to do it the channel art you see on my page right now in previous and before that I created that using Kavana um, Pinterest pins CD covers now note that even though it says it's for certain things you can still use this for whatever you want to use it for for instance I could take this book cover and use it for as a YouTube thumbnail now here's the thing you don't have to you can edit this so I'm gonna edit this and this is just off my phone. This also has a, a desktop version. So I'm going to take this. And let's see. For instance, I'm taking it. I'm changing the words. And we're going to go keys. Plan. Oh, what the hell? Oh, let me fix that. Keys plan. We're going to life. No, give me that. Ah, there we go. And I'm gonna put starring key. All right. Now, here's the thing. As you can see on the screen, I have edited this how I want it. Now, here's another thing. If you want to, you can change that background. You don't have to be confined to that background. For instance, you see how those pictures are that those leaves right here are changing? I can change that. And move that to whatever I want but I can also let me see if it'll let me it's not letting me move this background let me see okay see on the computer I could change that blue background and I probably could change it here if I move some stuff around let me see no not really so we just keep this there but I could change the colors of the flowers to whatever I want to change them to. Um, for instance, I could change that to white if I want to. You know, any color I desire to change that to, I can. Um, even as far as this goes, 
I could change that color if I want to to white so you know the sky is the limit when it comes to this stuff so I'm gonna keep that put that over there um, and here's another thing you can take this and it works as if let me see it's working as a um, hold on because I have my no I don't want that okay I'm trying to this is what I'm trying to get up to and it won't let me let me move it okay there we go so you can make that you can copy that I don't want to copy it though so you can copy it and put it where you want it to be but I'm not trying to copy it so we're just gonna leave it like that okay so I'm finished and fixing it how I want to fix it you can change the transparency on here you can change it to different colors that you want it on and then you just go you're finished you hit the arrow now here's the thing you can resize this see where it says view design resize rename make a copy you can resize this i can resize this to an animated social media instagram post an instagram story um facebook post facebook cover so this what just because it says it's for a particular thing does not mean you have to use it for that one thing you can use it as a poster as a flyer as an invitation portrait as a card as a twitter post as a twitter head as a blog banner as a youtube thumbnail see how i did that and see how it gives certain things that you're trying to do personality um so kavana is my number one um editing software so my second one we're gonna get into is photo lab photo lab is amazing a lot of you guys are always wondering how i edit my pictures like my cartoon pictures and things like that well this is how i typically you can pay for the um the ad free version but i don't care anything about ads i'm not that pressed so for instance as you can see i'm going to take this picture and i'm going to take this picture and I'm gonna hit this green button here and we're gonna let it process. And once it process, oh, oh hold on, it, a face. Okay, now here's the thing. It'll tell you that a face has to be detected a lot of times. So let's go, we'll go with, we'll use this. Why would your kids need a green light debit card? The ad. Well, they're gonna need money sometimes. And that's just sending them money instantly. But that doesn't really bother me like I said. So we're, we're taking, we're waiting for it to process. We're letting it do its thing. And this takes a couple of seconds. And then you have that. How cool is that? And then you fix it how you choose to fix it. So however you choose to fix this is fine. And um, let's see. Let's try another one. Just so you can kind of see what this thing is really capable of. Okay, for instance, this. This is cute. I'm going to take my picture here. Bam. Bam. We're letting it process. It's processing. Give it a second. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Okay, there we go. Do you see that? That is freaking awesome. That came out so pretty. Um, you can save it to your device. It does give you that option. Um, I'm downloading it now. So it's been downloaded to my phone. And that's the free version. You don't have to pay for these apps. A lot of them you can use for free. And as you can see, it has so many ways that it can do your pictures and fix your pictures. Like this app is freaking amazing. It is my top two apps. Like get into it, honey. Now, and that is, I told you, Photo Lab. So now my last but not least one, which I think every person should have, where is it? Unfold. Loving Unfold. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give you a bonus one after this because I think you need this. Bonus. Okay, so Unfold, this is my number three. You take a picture. Hold on. Allow, allow. No, I don't want, I don't want that. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. Uh, where is that picture? 
uh, camera. Where is it? Camera. Photo lab. Nope. Screenshots. Okay, we're just going to pick a picture at this point. Those nails are cute because those are my next nail sets when I do decide to go back and get my nails done. So we're going to take that and we're going to use it. We're going to swipe for a fix. So I might want to do this in black and white. Once I do it in black and white, let me move that. I think that's, you know, this is not a good thing. Let me find y'all one. Let me go with this. Okay, there we go. I could do this picture however I want to do this picture. So, let's say I do it in black and white. Once I'm done, I hit the download button. Or I can get ready to post it on Instagram. Bam. And now you have your picture. So, I think that's really, really dope. I think it's really nice. Um, and the good thing about that is you can crop it out. So let me go back to my photos because as you can see, I took a whole picture with a whole screen thing in it. Let's crop it. I'm going to crop that like that. And let's see. There we go. Save. And that's how that picture looks. I think it's super dope. Now, bonus. You're going to get the bonus today, honey. Okay, so the bonus would be Retouch. This is another favorite app of mine. And it's this one right here. Let's go. We're going to go to my album. So you see me? I'm trying to look down and show you. So for instance, we're going to take this picture. Because I'm trying to get juice and ideals. And let's say I don't want this arrow. Okay. So I'm going to make this bigger than what it is and object removal so my object removal is this okay so let's see i think i can hit go do you see that do you understand how dope that is do you understand why this is the bonus bonus app and i love it so much I just erased that arrow off that picture like it was nothing. Do you understand that? I'm going to do that again for y'all because you need to see this. See, sometimes you got to show people a second time. Now, the trick to this one is always zoom in so you can get it exactly where you want it. Object removal. And you just got to be really as precise as you can be with it. Now, I might have took too much. So, I can use my eraser right there and then go back with the brush see I did it again oh well y'all get the gist and there you have it and we're gonna make this smaller and there you go how about that that's really freaking cute I think that that is really really bomb so those are my hold on let me stop this okay so those are my four top apps well three top apps a month plus a bonus. I think they're really good apps for editing your videos, editing pictures and things like that. Um, although I didn't show you per se how to edit a video on Kavana, you can edit videos. I do a lot of, um, sometimes if you look at a couple of my videos on YouTube at the end of them, I do a lot of picture and picture things with like, comment, and subscribe. I do that. Um, another thing I use it it works really good for stories so for instance I might bring a video on to Kavana and put my story in the picture portion and I think it gives you up to 10 or 15 seconds and then you have this this really great um, vision and view for everybody to see so I think it's really really good to have those apps are amazing I would definitely recommend them one second